Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to a special uh, video. Uh, it's not really a rant time or a IRL review post, it's more of a specialty uh, sort of video I have to make. Uh, now, if you guys couldn't tell, I actually name drop Gamers Gate, and that's the title of the video. I'm going to get right into it. No uh, dicking around here, if you can tell. <laughs> um, I basically name dropped and told you all not to worry about it, and it was sort of my way to see how many people here on this channel understand it, and it, quite a, quite many people did. I got messages about it, people asked me, and uh, some people said, hey, I'm a mature kind of guy, I don't know where you got that, but uh, I can discuss it. And what is the entire thing? Well, after everything has been simmered down a little bit, it is, well, it's pretty much an ongoing um, trend right now. It's a, the hashtag Gamergate, if you will, uh, that's the whole thing, that's the whole thing there. Essentially what it is, it is a giant controversy in uh, video game ethics and, well, not that, video game review, video game journalism, if you will. Uh, so, sit down, I'm actually going to tell you a story, it's going to be like a creepypasta, so, I don't know, <laughs> it's going to be like that. So sit down and enjoy this little uh, story here really quickly. So what Gamersgate essentially is, it, is began, it began with an indie game developer, Zoe Quinn who uh, developed a game called Depression Quest. Now, I don't know what Depression Quest really is. I mean, I've seen gameplay of it, but I still don't. I, I'm, I'm not entirely interested in even the game. But that's the game she had made. Now, I've heard mixed things about it. Some people say it's not even a game. Some people say, well, it is quite decent in its own merit. And I've heard just general, like, I've heard it all over the place. You know, in terms of it's not really a bad game or it's not really a great game or anything. And it's not my type of game in general. I'm the one playing Persona 4 Golden shortly before doing this entire video. But, um, essentially, <laughs> the entire tale behind it is that a, um, uh, Kotaku uh, journalist that uh, she had a romantic relationship with. And uh, this was brought uh, forward by an ex-boyfriend of hers. So basically, I guess, you know, a pissed off ex decided to just out this relationship. And again, nothing entirely has been confirmed. You know, nothing has a 100% basis in reality here or anything. It could be real or it could be fake. We have no idea. You know, I mean, we can only run on assumptions. And I don't run on assumptions. I like to run for facts. But uh, essentially... It's been uh, believed that this woman has uh, slept around <laughs> to get higher review scores. Now, let's take all jokes aside, whatever. It's not proven or anything. If it was 100% guaranteed in fact, you know, I would. And even if you do sleep around, it's maybe it's maybe it has something totally other to, uh, out of the order. Maybe it's not even about the whole fucking video game. You know what I mean? People run on assumptions. Now, of course, you know, I... <laughs> I, I've had some other things happen, you know, I've been in higher positions before and people have tried to sexually, both men and women, I've tried to sexually uh, use their assets, if you will, to gain higher, you know, to, to gain notoriety, But and you sort of take a step back, but here, essentially, what has happened is, um, it's caused a huge controversy in how legit gaming media is, and to be honest, this kind of stunt happens anywhere like I told you it happens in the industry I work and it happens everywhere this isn't just gaming related it, it might just be more prominent because of the immaturity it, that is um, encapsulated and I mean think about it these are these are people that are in relationships outing each other out and all this other bullshit no one if you're a mature person you do not do that you just decide to let it die and that's it now am I entirely going to say that uh, even if someone has slept around it wasn't for review scores? Of course I'm not. That could have been an alter motive. I have no idea. But uh, two major things have popped out of this. The entire uh, use of the word misogyny, which actually really really pisses me off and why I wanted to make this video. And uh, the image that it's giving us as gamers. Now we are some ordinary gamers. We are people that game. We are, that's it. We're not, you know, fucking... It, I don't know how to say this, I mean, I'm talking about Gamers Gate, but we're just some ordinary gamers, but because of this entire uh, movement, because of all the trolling that has happened because of it, and before anyone tells me these are just awful trolls, trolls exist everywhere. You work in film and TV, trolls exist. You work in aeronautics, trolls exist. Trolls exist everywhere. You know why trolls exist? Because when the internet was formed, the internet gives everyone complete 100% anonymity. You can make an account 
titled XX Blaze 420 XX Snoop Dogg for Life. You could be a fu you could pretend to be a 30 year old military dude who has 300 confirmed kills, you know, whatever, and you could be a 12 year old kid on the internet, and that's the beauty of the internet. You get that power. That's that's what it is. All right, and. It doesn't have to be with gaming. You could be talking about a television show. You could be talking about a movie. You could be talking about anything else in the world. You could be fucking ripping on NASA right now, okay? And trolling will exist in almost any form, anywhere. All right, it's not gaming, and I hate it when people just tell us that trolls here are the only immature ones. I've seen much more immature trolls. Trust me, I swear I have seen them. If it is anyone that knows trolling, I know trolling very well. Now, as far as misogyny goes, and here's the uh, entire thing that I have to say about it. Um, there's a lot of feminism that has been uh, arisen through this. Uh, if you follow Feminist Frequency, Anita Sarkeesian, I don't really have an opinion on her. I don't care what she does. I don't watch Feminist Frequency. You know, I've watched a couple. I mean, I can't lie about that. I've seen it, but uh, I don't actively follow it. But one of the things that I have to uh, bring forth is that this whole throw around of misogyny, just because people are trolling her doesn't automatically mean every fucking gamer is a misogynist or you know every guy gamer is just hates women no all right and a lot of this has to do with fucking just just throwing like here's the thing with uh feminism okay <laughs> and i'm a guy that sticks to my guns and i'll be honest what i think about it okay and uh, i live in toronto there's a lot of the whole feminism going on over there's a lot of it here and there's a lot of it back where i used to live too uh i believe uh, when i used to live in michigan and detroit there was a whole sort of feminist craze over there as well and it exists everywhere but uh, there's two types of feminists that uh, I see, and uh, you know I've spoken to both of them. There's the radical, and then there's the you know actual person. See, feminism essentially has started out as a you know a movement to equalize both sexual you know bo both sexes. And that's what it was there for. Now, I completely 100% agree with that. I don't treat anyone differently depending on uh, gender or anything. When I got a when I go on a production or when I go anywhere, when I gotta fire someone, I don't look at them as a woman or a man. I look at them as just another person. I gotta fire you, I gotta hire you, I gotta make you cry, I gotta make you laugh. That's how it works, okay? I don't care if you've got this between your legs or if you got whatever, okay? I don't care. I don't, you know? A lot of people tell me you gotta treat people gingerly, you gotta not. No, that's unfair. You don't fucking do that. But what the feminism portrayed by this Gamergate stuff is radical in general. And radicals exist everywhere. It could be in any religion, it could be in a politic, it could be anything. Radicals will always exist. Extremists will always exist in any group you can. Whether for the guys, there are legit misogynists here too. And there are legit, le legit you know, complete balls to the wall extremist feminists going on on that side. Uh, so I don't really support any of that going either way. Alright, no way. Okay, but essentially the worst thing that comes out of Gamergate or anything or this whole uh, internet, you know, video game <laughs> journalism crisis really is that it makes us all look immature, you know, just because it's so publicized out there on the market, you know, the worst part about it is I've had people that don't know shit about video games. They have no fucking idea. All right. And they're starting to use terms like cathedral of misogyny. Okay. Cathedral of misogyny for fuck's sake. All right, that's the worst thing I probably have ever heard about video game journalists too, and the people in there. And this again, these are people who don't know shit about it. So this information spreads fast. Video games to me are an art form. All right, when I play video games now, narrative heavy video games, I play them as they are movies. See, I work with film and TV. I love video games more, genuinely, because it's an interactive medium. It's pretty much, in my opinion, caught up with it. And because of stupid shit like this, where people gotta call out, point out fingers, there's gotta be this whole feminism craze going on, which I don't understand why it needs to be such an important thing in video games. Same thing with film, you know? I personally believe if a gender fits the uh, character that needs to be portrayed on a screen or needs to be portrayed in a video game, then they should be put in, not just hammered into it, because whether you put a guy into a position or you put a woman into a position, if you just hammer that in, it ruins it entirely. You can look at any form of medium and you will get exactly what I'm telling you right there and then, what I'm putting out in there. But here, it just, because of this whole crazy web of conspiracies going on in our hobby, it makes us all look fucking immature. It makes us all look stupid. It makes us all, I guess, look like misogynists because of this crazy shit going on over there. And like I said, both sides are completely wrong. There's no one true side here. There's always a grain of truth to one side or another. And let me be honest with you, 
there needs to be a this is why I told you in the last video why really not to care about it because when you sort of step away from this entire nonsense you give the vocal minority which that's what it is Anita Sarkis and all those people they're a vocal minority you give them less power all right when you distance yourself away and you basically say what I have just said right now in this video you pretty much are admitting that you're not a misogynist you're not one of those kind of people okay you're a regular gamer all right this is your hobby you know there will always be people like this anywhere we could have a movie gate the next week or something you know people sleeping around to get their movie up in reviews from you know major reviewers out there we could have that the next day it's not just gaming that is susceptible to this thing could spill over to anything else so not only is it bad immoral unethical practices in journalism but it's also a slap to the face for the entire community. We all look immature as hell because of it. And honestly, I really don't know what to say about it rather than if you ask me, I'd stay out of it. I'd really just take a step back and say what I just said. Boom, stay away. Let these people argue amongst themselves. Because when you give people publicity like that, it strengthens them. People believe stuff just because there's a whole group following around it. All right, It's a psychological thing. And I want you all to sort of, if you're watching this, I want you all to just think about what I've said, okay? This is what I gotta think about Gamersgate. I step away from it, you know, a lot of people are throwing words like misogynist, chauvinist, feminist around, and a lot of these things are, they sort of complicate the industry we're in. We never really have to worry about this with games, alright? I understand the whole uh, nonsense about women characters, and when it comes to shit from Ubisoft, oh, it's hard to render them, grow the fuck up. Come on. It's not, alright? Do your fucking job. When it's a multiplayer custom, you might notice that I have female characters in online games. That's giving me the option. I just do it because it's there, alright? And because there's a lot of sexually frustrated people on the internet who just instantly start asking me for dates. No joke when I do that. But, <laughs> that being said, this is the Gamergate controversy, and for those who wanted to hear my thoughts on it, that's pretty much it. That's what I think about it. I'm not supporting one side or I'm not supporting the other side. I'm telling you all an objective look on the entire situation and how pathetic and immature it really is. And I may read creepypastas, I might joke around, I may make, you know, goofy shit on the uh, internet here and there, but I am kind of serious about this whole stuff too. I like video gaming. I like focusing on it. I hate the drama and attention that it brings. But, uh, you know, when we all take a look away from it, when we all step away, when we all just do our own shit, that's what makes it, alright? And that's what's going to stop all this crap. Because right now we're giving a vocal minority support that really doesn't need the support at all. We could support tons of other gamers out on the internet who genuinely are passionate about their thing instead of running some secret bullshit agenda, which both sides are doing, quite frankly. So, just take a step back, relax, and, uh, you know... Just don't worry about the whole game again. So yeah, if you uh, <laughs> like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Do you think it's immature? Do you have an actual? Do you do you like? Do you have a different opinion? Do you do? What do you, What do you think? Well, let me know in the comments below. This is me, Mudahar, and uh, <laughs> I am out.